Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation of detecting fake news spreaders in social networks via linguistic and personality features. My name is Onis Rasta and I'm a PhD student at Boise State University. Social media has become the main source of news online with more than 4 billion internet users. Among them, highest portion of users get news from Facebook, Twitter and Reddit instead of traditional media. And this trend of consuming news from social media has been increasing every year. Along with the increase in popularity of social media, fake news sharing has become a concerning problem in such platforms. Research has found that fake news is more likely to go viral than real news, spreading both faster and wider, and is threatening public health, emergency management and response, election outcomes and is also responsible for general decline in the trust that citizens have for such online platforms. Both human and bots are responsible for spreading fake news. However, the considerable spread of fake news on Twitter is caused by human activity. And fake news is successful mainly because people are not able to distinguish it from truthful information. Thus, being able to identify fake news spreaders in social network is one of the key aspects to effectively mitigate misinformation spread. Several studies have conducted to understand the characteristics of regular users that correlate with fake news spreading behavior in social networks using different behavior as well as linguistic properties. We carried out our experiments to identify fake news spreaders using the dataset provided by the PanShare task for profiling fake news spreaders on Twitter. This data contains a balanced set of users along with their Twitter feed and known ground truth about the users. Specifically, users that shared some fake news in the past are labeled as fake news spreaders. This data consists of a train and a test set for English and Spanish language, and the training set includes 300 users with 100 tweets for each user, resulting in 30,000 tweets for each language. Similarly, the test set contains the data for 200 users in each language. As recommended by the shared task, the English and Spanish dataset have been treated separately in our experiments. The basic architecture of our model is at first to extract tweets from the XML file and pre-process the content as per requirement, and then extract the features from the tweets which will be trained on the weak classifiers using k-fold cross-validation to select the best classifier for each group of features. Then the output of each weak classifier will further be trained on strong classifier to identify fake news spreader. This is the overall architecture. Now we will look into each component in detail. For extracting the features to identify these fake news spreaders, at first we extracted tweets from XML file and then pre-processed the content as per requirement for each feature we considered, as there are some features that require clean text and some other that requires the text as it is for incorporating underlying detail of the author's writing. Basically, we consider four different types of features. Stylistic feature that captures the writing style of the user, which include the average number of word and characters, lowercase and uppercase word and characters, stop words, punctuation, hashtag, uh, URL mentions, uh, emojis and smileys uh, from the tweets. Also, we consider the percentage of user tweets that are retweets and the percentage of user tweets that are sharing of breaking news. The second group of the features include TFIDF base and gram for both words and characters. We concatenate all the tweets by each user to form a single document per user. Then for each document, we remove the reserved words like RT, FAV, and VIA, and so on, and replace the em emojis and smileys with corresponding English words. And then each document was converted to lowercase, and stop words and punctuation symbols were removed using NLTK. Then finally, we computed the TF-IDF vector representation for both word and character engrams. Here, we experimented with different parameters, including the number of terms and the length of grams, from unigrams to trigrams, 
and we obtain the best result for both character and word with unigrams. Similarly, the third group of the feature is tweet embedding that uh, include the embedding of tweets computed by using BERT, a state-of-art NLP model. Specifically, we use the pre-trained multilingual model provided by SBERT to address the both languages. The extracted embedding was then reduced to 10 features using principal component analysis. Then we averaged the embedding of all the tweets of a single user to generate a single embedding representation per user that captures the semantic of all the uh, user tweets. So before computing this embedding, uh, each tweet, tweet was pre-processed to remove uh, reserved words and replace the emojis and smileys with corresponding English word. As people express their emotions, appraisal and sentiments towards any news or articles through the choice of words in their tweets, we leverage sentiment analysis as another feature. Also, in this case, we pre-processed each tweet to remove reserved words. However, we did not replace emojis and smileys uh, with corresponding English uh, text for this feature since these emojis adds to sentimental values of the text. Then for each user, we measure the average sentiment across all their tweets. For this, uh, we use Weather, a library specifically built for capturing sentiments uh, expressed in social media text uh, for, use, for English tweets. And then we use Sentiment Analysis Spanish library for Spanish tweets. After extracting these four groups of features, we built our classification model as ensemble of classifiers. Here we consider each group of features separately and perform 10-fold cross-validation on training set. Then we choose the best classifier for that group of feature among support vector machine with linear kernel, logistic regression, random forest, and extract -read classifier. According to the results shown in table, we can see that for English, the best performing classifier is extract -read for style feature with accuracy of 64%, SVM for both n-gram and tweet embedding with 72% and 69% accuracy respectively. Similarly, logistic regression for sentiment analysis with 66% accuracy. Likewise, for Spanish, we chose SVM as the best classifier for style feature, extra tree for n-grams, random forest for tweet embedding, and logistic regression for sentiment analysis according to this table. From the table, we can also see that for English tweet users, the best performing set of feature is n-gram with accuracy of 72%, followed by bird tweet embedding, sentiment, and style-based feature. Similarly, for Spanish tweet users, style-based feature and n-gram are equally the best set of features with the accuracy of 75% and followed by the bird tweet embedding and sentiment analysis. Overall, the different performance of the feature across the English and Spanish may highlight a different cultural behavior in the use of Twitter uh, in general and news sharing behavior. So this figure represents our final model after obtaining the best classifiers for each group of features. Here green arrow represents English language and orange arrow represents Spanish language. For this final model, we first trained each group of the features with the corresponding selected best classifiers. Then we used the prediction probabilities of all four selected best classifiers as input feature to a majority voting classifier that combines the prediction of all four best estimator. Then we evaluate the accuracy of our model in two cases. First, we evaluate our model with 10-fold cross-validation on training set. And then we trained our model on whole training set and tested on test set. The plot reports the resulting accuracy values where our model achieved an accuracy of 73% and 77% for the English and Spanish data set uh, on training set. And when we train on the whole training set and test on test set, we achieve an accuracy of 71% for English and 76% for Spanish. Here we can also see that the accuracy value of the features combined by our final model improves 
over the accuracy value achieved by each group of the feature individually. After the submission of our run, we performed some additional experiments to investigate how other groups of features such as psycholinguistic and personal features would perform at detecting fake news spreaders. Specifically, we considered the set of psycholinguistic features computed by linguistic inquiry and word count tool and personality features extracted by using IBM Watson Personality Insight Service. As pre-processing, we removed reserved words and replaced emojis and smileys with corresponding English words from tweets. Then we computed two sets of features. First one is linguistic inquiry and word count, which is a transparent text analysis tool that counts words in psychologically meaningful categories. For instance, the functionality of text, such as the average number of the words per sentence and the rate of misspelling in the is categorized into linguistic features and the occurrence of the periods commas exclamation and so on are considered as punctuation features similarly the emotional part of the text such as positive and negative emotions social processes informal language like swear words are ca categorized as psychological features and summary features define the frequency of the words that reflects the thoughts perspectives and honesty of the writer. Likewise, for personality features, we leverage the IBM Watson Personality Insight Service that uses linguistic analytics from digital communication such as social media posts to infer individuals' intrinsic personality characteristics. That includes big five personality traits such as openness to experience, conscientiousness, extraversion, agreeableness, and neuro neurotism. Customer needs that describes the needs of a user as inferred by the text they wrote and include the excitement, harmony, curiosity, ideal, closeness, liberty, love, and so on, and the values that describe the motivating factors that influence a person's decision-making. This tool is also able to work for different languages, including Spanish and English. Then we evaluated the models with these two features for detecting fake news spreaders. For this, we considered four classifiers and we were able to evaluate these features only on the provided training set. As we can see, for uh, the English data, look and personality features achieve both the best accuracy of 72% with random forest, which is the uh, same as the accuracy achieved by n-gram feature in our previous experiment. And when we compare with our final submitted approach on the training set, we can see that the accuracy is slightly lower than the accuracy of 73% uh, that was achieved by our submitted model. In the case of Spanish dataset, LUC achieved the best accuracy of 78% with random forest, while the personality feature achieved the best accuracy of 80% with extra tree. In this case, both LUC and personality feature outperform our submitted approach on training set. To conclude, in this work, we address the problem of identifying Twitter users keen at spreading fake news as part of the pan share task. We proposed a first approach leveraging several groups of features, including writing style, word and character and gram, bird semantics embedding, and sentiment analysis, which are computed from the Twitter feed provided for each user. Secondly, we also investigated the role of psycholinguistic and personality feature on the same task, where we showed that personality traits are important characteristics to consider when modeling user sharing behavior as they achieve the best accuracy score. Overall, the task of detecting fake news spreaders uh, turned out to be very challenging. Even if we experimented with several sets of features and approaches, we could not achieve an accuracy value higher than 80%. Uh, one possible motivation could be that some users keen to spread fake news do not do it intentionally. Hence, they are difficult to differentiate from users who never share fake news. Also, the accuracy gap between the English and Spanish may indicate users have different news spreading behaviors across different cultures. 
Thank you for listening and please let me know if you have any questions.